Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this. This, look at how pretty this hair is. I'm showing you guys how I installed this wig from In Color Hair. I believe that's what it is, In Color Hair, or In Color Wig. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this hair from In Color Wig. This is giving me like Christina Aguilera for some reason. I don't know, like it's so pretty. I didn't think I was going to like this hair, but I really, really do. I'm going to be talking you guys through it a little bit, me installing it. I don't even think I talked that much. I said I was going to talk a lot in the video, but I don't think I talked that much. But it's so pretty, and I want to go take pictures before the curls fall too much. And I have to keep recurling it because I didn't spray hairspray in it, and I believe this is straight hair because it didn't have like any wave to it when I took it out of the packaging. So I'm going to hurry so I can go take pictures. Of his hair because I need thumbnail pictures and I'm gonna have all the hair details down below for you guys I'm gonna have the glue that I used linked it's the Erica J hold me down glue everybody's always asking what glue I use I don't think I ever show the bottle in the videos but this is the one that I use the watermelon scented one I think I'm gonna go back to the regular one though because this one is pretty strong with the scent it kind of makes me nauseous sometimes but sometimes it doesn't but it's like a really strong scent it smells amazing though but I'm gonna have everything linked down below. Anything I need to link is down below. I also want to tell you guys that I do have an Amazon store now. So if you guys wanna shop some of my items that I get off Amazon, it'll be in the description box. I have the my Amazon store link for you guys. My Depop store will be linked where I sell my wigs. This wig will be on there. So and I think that's gonna be it. I don't have anything else to say. But yeah, I'll go ahead and let you guys get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Today I'm going to be installing. This is a different wig. Very different from what I've tried. Well, it's not too different because I've done like highlight wigs and stuff. This is a, why does it look white? I promise. I promise it's not white. It's like a blonde. Um. I don't know why it looks so white. My lighting is so off. It's like little blonde, like, what do they call these money pieces? In the front of this wig. It's just in the front. The back is like brown. It looks black on camera. It looks black on camera, but it's brown. And then the little highlight pieces are blonde. I did have to use like purple shampoo on my knots. So a little bit of purple shampoo did get on the blonde pieces. So maybe that's why it looks so white. But like on camera, it looks like this is like gray or white. I promise it's not. I'm just going to cut... I'm just cutting part of the little ear tab area off so that I, so that I don't have to do that while it's on my head because that's kind of hard to do. I get frustrated with that. So I already did um, pluck it just a little bit. I only plucked this like a little bit. Like I swear I didn't pluck it a lot. This is what the hairline, can you guys see that? The hairline is looking like. I feel like the lace will blend pretty good on my skin. I may have to put a little bit of makeup on it. You know, see that? It's a little, yeah, I'm gonna put makeup on it. I wish it were thinner, but it's okay. It's all right. I feel like it'll blend pretty well. Let's see what she's looking like. Let's see, because I haven't tried this on yet. So I already hot combed my part because I cannot do it without, I can't do it on camera. With this, on, well, I can't do it with it on my head. So I had to just hot comb it on my, Mannequin head. She is kind of cute. I'm not mad at it. It's actually kind of cute, but I got too much forehead out, so. Okay, I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. Like, this is so cute. This is cute. Okay, let me just take a little bit of this, whatever is left on this brush. No, like I don't want to sell this and I know I'm going to sell it. This is so cute. Okay. I'm just going to take a little bit of whatever is left on this brush and kind of like sweep it on here. This is so cute. I don't even know what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of this girl I used to see on Instagram all the time. Oh, I can't. I don't even know her name. I don't know. I may have to add more after I cut the lace, but for now, I just don't want to overdo it because sometimes when I 
overdo the makeup on the lace it looks really dark this is cute though like no like this is so cute it's giving me like i don't know it's reminding me of, like christina aguilera for some reason and i don't think i need to cut any extra lace off i feel like it fits my face pretty well it's not coming down too far anywhere that's a pretty good amount of space for me And I'm not, I don't need to clean my forehead because I like literally just washed my face and I'm not going to be keeping this wig on for long. I do want to purchase that Erica J, um, what is it, skin guard, something like that because I noticed that my hairline has been really itchy lately. Well, not lately. It's always like itchy after I've had my wig on for like a couple days. Like the wig, like the glue or something starts to like irritate my skin. I have like sensitive skin, so it kind of itches a little bit. So I'm thinking that I should probably purchase the skin guard and stop just like throwing glue on my skin. So we're gonna speed through this part where I apply my glue. I'm gonna do two thin layers of glue just to, um, I feel like one is not enough. One, like my wig is gonna pop up tonight. And three is like if I want to keep this on for like a week, but I'm not keeping this on for a week. So I'm just going to do two just to be on the safe side. That's what I always do. So you guys can just watch me apply the glue and then lay it down. And then I guess I'll come back whenever we're cutting the lace. I may cut the lace off camera. I mean sped up, but either way, I'll be back. I'm just gonna take it and spray it on the perimeter a little bit and I'm gonna tie it down.
This is just helping to like blend those little edges that are kind of sticking up because I could go back in with I could go back in with glue and fix them, but then there's like a high chance that I'll have glue on my skin and then the hair will stick to the glue. So I'd rather just do it this way because like this isn't sticky. So it'll just do it'll be better than me trying to go in with glue. I want to go ahead and just tie this down. And then let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes, maybe three minutes. And then I will come back and we're gonna style the hair. And then we're gonna be done. So I have my makeup done. I went ahead and did my makeup because I was like, I'd rather just do my makeup and then come back rather than, I would rather do my makeup now rather than do my hair and then do my makeup and then come back. So I just went ahead and did my makeup so I can do my hair and then I'll be done. So I'm like, sorry if you hear my phone going off. I'm like loving this hair. And you guys already know, you already know, we're gonna be curling it. Like I just feel like this needs to be curled. I'm obsessed with curled hair, I feel like now. Like not curly, but like curling. Curling hair. It's like, I don't know where my wig brush is at, so I'm gonna be using my hairbrush or natural hairbrush but i just feel like i don't know i used to be just into straight hair but now it's like you can't stop me from curling a wig i'm just gonna try to do like some loose i'm looking in the mirror behind the camera if you guys are wondering what i'm looking at i'm sorry i have like a mirror big mirror behind me in front of me and then i have my little mirror right here and then i have the camera but then if i look into the camera i can't see so Let's just go ahead and stop these curls. These are gonna be like some loose type curls. Nothing crazy. So, let's see. This is hot, yeah. I'm gonna start on kinda low. Or in the middle. And I'm not gonna let it stay on for too long because I just want like a wave kind of. I feel like that'll drop pretty good. Just don't want it to be too curly. And I'm taking kind of pretty big pieces, not too small, not too big, medium size pieces, because I don't want the curls to be too defined. I want them to be really loose. Not really loose, I don't know. You guys will see what I'm going for. Once I'm done with it, Can you see me a cleanest? Close up me rockin' at the fucking realest. Ching, ching, ching. 
Looking at the Louis V vest, girl want with his PC, they can not real bless. Can I do a breeze for the head of the penis? Coolest breeze that me rocking a sleeveless. Hey. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I feel like the curls, let me fix this curl. It's making me mad. Okay, so this is the finished look. I am like in love with this. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I love it. I wish this would kind of like stay back so you could see the blonde, but I don't wanna spray hairspray in it because I feel like, I don't know where my bio seal hairspray is, so all I have is this and it makes the hair really like rough and hard, so. I don't want to use that. This wig is from In Color Hair. I'm going to have all the hair details down below for you guys. I didn't do any baby hair. I just can't get with baby hair on the wig. It's just not for me. I feel like it just takes away like the realness of a wig when you put baby hair. And I'm not that good at baby hair to make them look that realistic. So I feel like whenever I put baby wig, whenever I put baby hair on a wig, it just takes it down like a couple notches. So I like this look way better. You guys should really check them out. Like I've been sleeping on them, honestly. And whenever I saw this wig on their site, I was like, yeah, I want to try that one. So they sent it to me to try. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.